New at six, Orlando police have made an arrest in the murder of a mom and her son found dead at their home earlier this week. Police have a man and a woman in custody for this. New six's Clay Lapard is at the Orange County Jail where the two of them are locked up tonight. One of the suspects, Amelia Bassoon, told a judge she was scared as the judge denied her bond given the long list of charges she and another man face. Joshua Ramswamy. Is that you, sir? Yes, Your Honor. 28 year old Joshua Ramsamy and 25 year old Amelia Bassoon each face a long list of charges. Hey, Amelia Bassoon, how are you doing today? Okay. You have to speak up, I can't hear you, okay? I'm scared. I'm okay. At the top of that list is two counts of first degree murder. Police aren't saying why or how they believe Bassoon and Ramsamy killed that mother and son, other than the two used a firearm. The two had warrants out for their arrests and also faced charges in another case. Those charges include theft, fraud, forgery, and exploitation of the elderly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name's Strip Drop, and I'll be your host as always. Tonight, I present to you another exclusive, Jay Persaud's police interview. Some of you subscribers out there requested it down in the comment section. I read every single comment, and if you have a request, I try to please you. So I worked long and hard, and I obtained this. This is in regards to Amelia Bassoon and Joshua Ramsami with the theft of the $50,000 and the double homicide. You see, Jay was Amelia's high school sweetheart. And this is 10 years later. Some of you are entertained. Some of you are disgusted. Some of you may cry. Some of you may laugh. There's no wrong emotion to experience here at the circus. Now let's see what Jay has to say for himself. This is Detective Brian Ferrer, the Orlando Police Department. Today's date is Friday, July 27th, 2018. The time is now approximately 18, 18 hours. This is an interview taking place uh, in the public's parking lot in Metro West neighborhood in Detective Mike Moreshi's vehicle. Also present is uh, Detective Michael Moreshi with the Orlando Police Department and a uh, Jay Prasad. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. For the record, sir, if you could just say your name and date of birth, please. Jay Prasad, 0712-1994. Okay. What's a good phone number for you, Mr. Prasad? 407-0-6106. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, can I have you raise your right hand for me, please? You saw me swear or affirm that the testimony is about to give in this case will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I swear. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. All right. So first things first, you know, uh, I'm going to call you Jay if that's all right. Of course. Um, you know, I, I came to your house earlier today and I talked to your grandma mm -hmm. and uh, I talked to you on the phone a little bit and I had asked you to speak with us, right? Okay. So you understand you're here. Um, you said it was okay to speak with you. Uh, you understand that at any time you want to walk out the door, you're good. You don't have to answer any questions that you don't want to. You understand all mm -hmm. that? Okay. So yes? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so, Jay, the, I kind of talked to you before going on tape a little bit, and I said, you know, why do you think you're sitting here talking to us? Explain that to me. Well, after discussing with my grandmother this morning, we were trying to piece some stuff together, and then, you know, um, actually, what really, the big puzzle piece to it was um, her, her, the father of her child was the one that called me. He's a friend of mine. The father of whose child? Um... A father of, uh, I have a friend who just went to jail last What's her night. Name? Her name is Amelia. Okay. So he calls me. Who's he? Um, his name, her, uh, Matthew. Okay. So Matthew called you last night? He calls me this morning. Okay. What did he tell you? He's, he's like, you heard? I'm like, hear what? And that's when he informed me how him, um, her and her husband went to jail. So I'm like. What'd they go to jail for? When I, ser I searched her name up and I saw the charges, it's a whole bunch. It's all kinds of different stuff. What else did he say? That was about it. I mean, that's all he knew. And he called you at what number? Um, he called me on my cell phone number. Okay. Um, well, let me ask you this question. Why, why did Matthew feel the need to call you to tell you about Amelia going to jail? That's how he is. He called all the friends. 
He, he, I'm not the only one he called. How do you know Amelia? Went to high school with her. I've known her for almost like over 10 years. Yeah. She's like a big sister of mine. What high school did you guys go to? Olympia High School. Was she And she was ahead of you? Yes. Um... When was the last time you talked to Amelia? That would be last week. Tell me about that. She calls me one evening abruptly. I was out with my friends drinking. We was hanging out. She called you? Yeah, she calls me. Um, From- no, she she texts me. She says, you know, what, she, what are you doing? So she, was it... Uh- like text or was it like an app or was it uh, a text just a te- phone to phone yeah, text yeah. okay she was like what are you doing and she's like come by the house I'm like why what's going on over there mm-hmm. and then um, she was like nothing she, that's when she calls me she's like she really needs to talk to me so she sounded really abrupt you know so mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's probably something to do with Matthew here because this is something you know this is why we this is how we kind of kept in touch all these years because of Matthew he kind of kept us in touch okay so um so she asked you to come to the house Yes. Okay. And so, you said she sounded kind of abrupt. Is that yeah, right. she was okay. worried. So I, I kind of dropped everything and I went straight there. I'm like, I'm on my way, sis. Mm-hmm. So I was, um, I was blacked out that night. I was pretty drunk. I was, I was really wasted. So she, soon as I, soon as she gets in my car, she's like, let me see your phone. So I unlock it and I give it to her. And she, she's turning off both of our phones. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, holy shit. Either she's going to try to, you know, like, have some relations with me or something because <laughs> her husband's in the house. And I remember when she was getting married, she had ifs, ifs you know, she yeah, was yeah, about marrying yeah. him. So I'm like, okay, I hope this is not what I think it is. <laughs> and um, I know her husband for some for some couple of years, too, you know, since right. she was dating him. So I know he has a background in the Marines. So I'm like, I'm not going to get my ass kicked. I'm on your property here. You, right. You're, whoa, so... I, I kind of like um, changed my mood up. I'm like, you know, I got to go. I was making up excuses and stuff now. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, I she, she spoke to me, but I, I can't remember much. So I left. So what, what, what do you remember speaking to you about? And, and this so, is, again, this is where we have to be careful, okay? Yeah, you remember so, everything you're getting up there. So what did she talk to you about? The next day she calls me mm-hmm. and she's like, um, did you find the person? And I'm like, find the person for who? And she's like, for the lady, Jay, what will happen? Oh, she's like, don't tell me you forgot everything. So then she um she calls me on Snapchat, and she's like, um you didn't. I needed you. To, I told you last night. I needed you to find a guy to scare the woman. So I'm like, wait, wait. So now I'm picking. I remember some things, and I'm like trying to figure out some stuff. So then, that's when she further explains to me. She's like, you know, I'm gonna go to jail on Monday, so I need to, you know, like send her a message, you know, scare her or something, and. That's kind of when I was like, whoa. Okay. So what the fuck did she, that, what yeah. did she get into, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. And that's when now I'm knowing everything. Mm-hmm. Now I'm in a clear mind. So she was explaining to me what she did to the lady. Tell me that. And I told her it was stupid. Mm-hmm. She, um, she didn't tell me too much about it. She said that she, um, she fucked up mm-hmm. and how uh, she, she took some money from her. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you're stupid for that. Right. You, you, like, if this was if this was an easy thing to do, don't you think a lot of bank people would be doing this? Like or that that was pretty silly of you. Yeah. Okay. So, so I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go. So, well, I'm sorry. So that conversation she has with you about finding the guy and everything else, that's on the phone, or did you go back to her house? Or on the phone. That was on the phone. No, through and, Snapchat. And through Snapchat, though. Mm-hmm. Did she call you first on your phone and then you called from Snapchat, or she called through Snapchat the next day? Everything was through Snapchat. Yeah. What's your name on Snapchat? My name is, um, damn, I forgot my name. It's uh, J underscore Doe, underscore D-O-E, underscore J Doe. J Doe. Gotcha. <laughs> so, right. This is from 2010. That's all right, I got you, man. That's all right. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about that, and then I want to go on from, from there, because it's probably a little bit more. So, um, why did she say she was going to jail on Monday? Because the lady's going to report her on Monday. So she needs to stop the lady from reporting her. And that's why I told her you're stupid. I'm like, what did you think was going to happen here? And what did she ask you to do specifically as far as... Just to find someone to scare the lady. Why did she come to you for that? See, I'm thinking it's because of my background. 
Okay. It's because of my background. She figured, you know, I might know some people in the hood. You know what I'm stuff. You know what I'm saying. So I figured that that that's not that's, your hood, Jay. You know what I'm saying. But uh, you know, little does she know that you know it's been a while since you know Jay's been dibbling and dabbling yeah. in that stuff. You know, sure. Jay's you're working. trying to turn Jay's, your life around. Yeah. So Jay don't have any ties. So so what? what okay. So now. So she thinks that you have some connections, right? Mm-hmm. And what exactly did she want you to find a person to do? Scare the lady. How did she say that? Like, what did she want you to do? She just said, just um, scare the lady so she doesn't come in on Monday. Make sure she doesn't come in on Monday to her apartment. What information did she give you about this lady, specifically? She said that um, she has all the information on her. Let me know when I'm ready to give the people that I find so she can give them the address and all that stuff. You know, she kept saying, oh, you can't miss her. It's a fat white lady. It's a fat white lady. She's it's saying this lady. to you? Okay. Yeah, but this is like, you know, through conversations. It's not like mm-hmm. she was sitting there, okay, bam, bring out mm-hmm. your pen and papers right here, write this down. Yeah, no, no it's I all understand. like, you know, stuff through just clear well, conversation. I mean, honestly, though, that's not a conversation you're going to forget, is it? No, of course not. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like she was sitting there giving me pointers. All right, so as we're talking, that's when she was like, you know, like when she's telling me to look for the people, you know, they can't miss her. You know, they um, let me know when you're ready. I have the address. They can't miss her. She's a fat white one. You know, something she like said, that. So she said she had the address. Mm-hmm. Did she ever give you the address? No. Okay. Um, what was she offering you for this? She said that how she has money and she just wants to get rid of this problem. She just has money to pay. And I was like, you know, it's not a movie that, you know, just because you have money, things can just disappear like that, you know? Mm-hmm. How much money did she say she had to give you? She didn't tell me an amount. She just said, I have money. So, I always knew she, you know, she's always good with money she always had money you know they her and josh always seen they always went out places always you know took out her son places places that no normal family wouldn't take their families and stuff so i thought you know she was doing good so um she just said she had money so i thought she probably had some money saved up until today mm-hmm. i figured out holy shit mm-hmm. she whoa mm-hmm. whoa now i see why you said i have money and you said it like that what what dates okay so let's try and get the dates straight okay <clears throat> so the first time that she called you and you went to her house, do you remember when that was? That was last Friday. Last Friday? I, yes. Last Friday Friday before that. Whichever Monday she was going to get a report, I believe it was this Monday. So yeah. it was the Friday before that Monday? Yeah. It has to be this one or the one before that. But I believe it was this one right here that just passed. Yeah. And then and then you talked to her a second. Did you, how many other times did you go to meet with them? You've, you met with them after that? No. After when she did the phone thing, man, she she scared me, bro. So, I didn't want to go over there again and be, you know, I'm I'm a very I'm hot. she could step over me, she could walk over me. I'm really nice in person, you know. So I don't want to be put in that predicament where, you know, she could take my phone again or something, you know, because I I don't know. I'm super nice to her and she's my sister, so I can't treat her like some stranger, you know. So I can't be like why, you know. Okay. So I just don't want to be around her to be put in any predicament. Okay. So. And after with the, after a second phone call on the Snapchat, I'm on probation. I can't be around this now. Now I see where you're going with it, and I don't need to be next to that. Mm-mm. And, and then, this is and this is why your cooperation is so very important to us, okay? Because you're being great. I mean, this is I mean, it's you. great for you to tell us this. And I would have so, lost a bet, Jay. Yeah. Because I told my partner, I said, "This guy's going to come in here and lie to us." With, with, for what? Well, a lot of people no, do. I mean, you know? try, I mean, you think about what you're like. They're trying to put you in the middle of some shit. Like tell exactly. Them, so I once like, I figured no that way, out, Jay, see, you got you got to yeah. understand. I'm not stupid. I know <laughs> that once you give me a certain amount of information, it's my um, it's up to me to turn you in now, or else I'm gonna be in trouble. Because you're gonna. So I didn't want to know any more information. I know this. Right. I'm not stupid. I'm an right. adult. Right. So I know once I know a certain amount of information, I gotta turn you in. And I don't want to be that little brother. I don't, don't want to be there. Don't stop telling the truth yeah. now. Keep okay. going. All right. Did, now, was, when did you talk to Josh about all this? He on the Snapchat phone. They were together. They were together. They were together. Mm-hmm. You had, and that's when... Well, let me ask you this question. You said you know Josh for a little bit. I mean, Amelia's voice you know very well, I would mm-hmm. assume. And then when the Snapchat conversation, was it from Amelia's... Um, uh, Snapchat or Josh's Snapchat? Amelia's. Amelia's. Okay. And then that's when she um she's at told, Josh told me on that phone call that I had him on Snap as well. So if Amelia's at work or something and they need or if she's busy with the son, you know, so I can have both of them to. When was that Snapchat conversation? So you said you met them the next Friday, day. Yeah. so Saturday. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Now, this is going to be the stuff that, again, if we have stuff that we have and we want to be able to verify that, we need you to tell us the truth, okay? Mm -hmm. There's some video of you guys meeting up in a parking lot. Does that sound about right? If you did, you did. It's not a big mm -hmm. deal. Tell us about that. Okay, I don't know about the video in the parking lot story, but... Okay. You met him in a, you met him in a parking lot? Mm-mm. Because -mm. once I... Like I said, I didn't want any more information, so... That was it. It was just through Snapchat. Right over here at the CVS, Jay. Please be honest with us because yes. yeah, we don't want to. Yes, yeah, no, know. we don't want to. We don't want to. Again, we don't want. What happens is, you were you're great, but then there's some stuff that you're probably worried about us finding out. No, I'm I'm trying to think, man. Unless if that I meet them on Friday. If you did, you did. It's not a big deal. No. No, I didn't meet him anywhere in public. Because I didn't want Jay, anything you probably, more. At this point, you probably need to know how this story ends so you absolutely understand what, what the seriousness of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I think I think you should tell him, Brian. Yeah. I mean, he's been being honest with us at this Here's point. I, mean, I know you don't want to be in the I middle mean, of what we're about to tell I, you. I think, obviously, the way you're being somebody that's talking to us like that is not going to have anything to do with what we're going to tell you about, but we have to verify that, okay? You, you understand what I'm saying? You're shaking your head yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, obviously... We, there's ways we can verify it. one of them is talking to you and getting the truth okay but the fact of the matter is these two people that she wanted you to go hire somebody to go scare mm -hmm. they're dead yeah okay so you understand how important we are now right not okay. just dead they were murdered murdered okay okay so anything that we're asking you we may already know the answers to okay and we just need you to be honest with us because, listen, taking some money to go flip for dope or whatever the hell it is, that's a hell of a stretch to homicide. Two, two homicides. You understand what I'm saying? Not just one, two. I understand. Okay? So just let's get it out. If, if you did some stuff that you weren't supposed to do, I'm not too worried about it. I told you that. Okay? But we need Promise to know... Me. You're walking out of this yeah. car. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Unless yeah. you tell us that you're the one that did. Yeah. It. Once it, Amelia it, gave herself up and said that she's going to jail on Monday, mm -hmm. it sunk in on me on Friday. Mm -hmm. I said, fuck her. She did some old people wrong like this. She has some money. Let me get a little something out of it. Okay. Let me. I'm paying bills. It's hard out here. Right. It's yeah, really you're hard. I can't even. I can't even. I, pay, I can't even pay my phone bill, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're. It's, it's tough times. Yep. So I said. um... I got to show, you know, if I do f talk to someone, I got to have, you know, from my past experience, I got to have show good, you know, faith. You know, I got to at least have some kind of money when I'm talking to them. Like, hey, like show that I'm serious or something. Maybe if I go find someone. So I did meet up with Josh and he did give me a thousand dollars. Okay. And I never spoke back to them. And I have text messages to show and prove where she's like, I can't believe you did me like that. We've seen him. Uh -oh. <laughs> so that's why we kind of figured that that's what happened. Where did you meet up with Josh? It was a CVS. I it was a CVS, and he gave you a thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right here, this one. Yeah. Right here. Right one. here. Yeah. And were you with anybody when you met up with him? Mm. -mm. Did you meet up with him the next day too and get some pills from him? No, that was that was the Friday night. He gave me that at the house. He gave well, me that at the well, house. Why did he give you the pills? Because he said um, we was in the car talking. And he said something about his back. And I was like, yeah, my back's been killing me too. And he was like, here, take this. And then he was like, hey, can you move this? And I was like, you know what? And I was like, hey, maybe I can too. So I, anything that they can give me, I'm grabbing it. So I do remember the next day I did see a Ziploc bag with this shit. And I was like, wait, holy shit. What the hell did I do last so night? We wanted you to try and move it. Yeah. Did so. they give you more money to buy more drugs to flip? Were they trying to get no, this no, money back? No. no. Mm -mm. Nothing like that for drugs or anything like that. Okay, so so all we're talking about is one thousand. There wasn't another four thousand exchange at some no, point. So. No. Okay. Okay. What was the was the money for you to get a guy to go scare them, or was it flipping drugs, or what was it? Yeah, I told him that if I was to come across someone to talk to them, I you know I would need some money to show that I'm serious. Okay, right. You see, so all he right. was like, all right, bam. Did they during this? Did they ever say we want these people killed? They never mentioned anything like that to me. They just said that how they don't want to get in any trouble and that they just want to scare the lady. I didn't think they had any capability of thinking this extreme. Now, here's another thing that we can do. Okay. Um, let me see your phone real quick. Is that an iPhone? Yes. Let me see it real quick. Okay. 
Here's one of the things we could do. All right, good. Thanks, buddy. Let's let's do this, okay? Again, we are not anything but homicide police. You understand that? The best way we can do this, okay, is let us, you know, I can take the phone today and have it back to you tomorrow, okay? And we go through, and again, just to make sure we're not seeing any text messages or anything like that, hey, go scare these people. As long as we don't see that address in there, are we going to see any, any address in there, anything like that? Um, I'm going to unlock it. Is that okay? So it doesn't lock? Is that I okay? I mean, yeah, it's fine. Okay. But I don't know. No, listen to what I'm saying. You know, I, I mean, here's here's what I'm saying, okay? And again, I've been cool with you, and I told you from the beginning, I, our, our intention is not to take you to jail. You've been, I, I think, more honest than most people have been with us in this case Jay, so far. I understand, but it's like... You, this I'm is your phone. Phone. You, yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Let me tell the extent of, of these people that I think you thought were your friends. I mean, and the thousand dollars that you know, we could tell that that's because you could tell that the text. Well, let me ask you real quick. What's your, what's your what's your passcode on here? One four five two. One four five two. Okay. So they come in yesterday, and guess what they said? Hmm. After we told them that these people were dead, we paid Jay Prasad to do it. Yeah, they threw you under the bus big time. He, we're on video at the CVS paying him off to go kill these people. And guess so what? So they happened? were trying to set me Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, why yeah. do you think we're sitting here talking to you? <laughs> so you guys kind of knew about this. Like, you, This but, is yeah. what you guys do for this. No, so but listen. Listen, if we thought you were a murder for hire person, would we be sitting here talking to you like this? <laughs> I understand that. But you I want to... you to understand how much you need to get out from underneath this, and that's why we need your phone for, yeah. for a day. I'll have it back to you tomorrow. You have my word on that. So you far, homicide been... police. I won't get no so... drug police come in to. Nope. No. Probation, man. No. Mm-hmm. Probation is my one no, word. You know probation. What? Because you listen. My well, one word is probation. You, you 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 did right today, right? So why should you get punished for doing right? Okay. I tell you, and I tell you what, Jay. I, I will even go further. I called Mr. Ortiz to find out your address and your phone number, and I told him you're not in any trouble. In fact, on Monday I will call him and I'll say, you know what? He was nothing but honest. He, he did a great job. And that's all it'll we'll be. We'll even take it that step to get that. I'm going to see him on Monday. Yeah. Uh, we're going to tell him you were fine. They were supposed to be yeah, 31st. I think it's Tuesday, the 31st. 30th. Okay. The Mondays. And they're going to early terminate. I will call, what time on Monday do you have to go see him? Afternoon. Okay. In that morning, I will call him and I'll say, look, he was nothing but but cooperative in that time. I'm trying to opposite. move. I'm trying to be. This is a, this but you got a people accusing you of, yeah. of being a murderer, <laughs> you know? Let me just ask again. Let me go back to so the phone. You, I, I understand you're, you're right for us to digitally examine it and make sure there's nothing in there. Now you're nodding your head. Yes, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just thinking about my lawyer. Like, if I should call her and ask her, or what should I do here? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Whatever. Okay. All right. Now understand. Uh, let me let, just so we don't want any surprises. Okay, is there going to be anything in that phone? Mm. Any location information? Any text messages? Any communications? Between you and the two people that were killed, are you with sh- the two people that were, were killed? killed? Yes. Oh no, no. You're sure? I have positive. You wouldn't even see my phone in there to their location. Okay. Is there going to be any communication between you and? Um, I'm going to put this in your plane. Okay. I'm going to. Is there any communication between you? Who's that going? She. She. Afford it. Is there any communication between you and? Any other individual where you're providing that address to where these people were killed? No. All right. Do you know where they lived? No. She, so the um the in, the individuals that were killed. No, I don't know where they lived. So so there was no communication between you and Amelia or Josh about where they were where no. they were. Okay. Because remember, I was still supposed to be finding someone. So. Okay. When was the last time you were down at like the OBT fifty area? I went to get my license renewed. When? July 13th, the day after my birthday. Where's that, like South Orange Blossom Trail? West Colonial, the tag agency, West Colonial, right here next to the police office station. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you, by, is it by John Young? Yes, by the old yes. Guy, by the sheriff's office? Yes, okay. yes, sir. Right. Um, I was going to ask a question. I forgot what it was, so I'm gonna think for no, a second. I'm sorry to no, 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 that's okay. That's okay. I totally just slipped my mind. Um, well, here, here's a here's a very a real obvious question. Um, Tuesday night, the 17th. Wednesday morning, the 18th, which is just a couple weeks ago. Do you remember where you were? 
Okay, say it again. Tuesday mm -hmm. night, July 17th, and Wednesday morning, July 18th. Would you have worked on July 18th? That's why we just said home. Which it's is, a Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday night, I'm at home. Your grandma's house? Yeah, I'm just chilling at home. I ain't going nowhere else besides the Metro West. You were not with a girlfriend or anything like that? I or? mean, yeah, I hang out and stuff with friends. Like, that's what I said. Nowhere besides the Metro West. <laughs> so, where you at? Grandma's or over here? I'm in Metro West and Grandma's. Yeah, who can we talk to to say that they were with you? Grandma? Here's an important question, okay? Have you had any communication with either Josh or Amelia since Wednesday, um, July 18th? The last, um, the date, the text message from where she said, I can't believe you did this to me, that's, f I didn't reply back to them since days from that, so. I, because if you I could took see the, the date, Because I'm you gonna, took the money, basically? Yeah, yeah. If I could see that date, that's, I could That's the last answer communication? Oh, that's okay, we date. can look and see it. We'll okay, see it. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this question. Have you had any phone calls from them while they are in jail? No. Nothing? No. Jay, when you talk about like they were both on Snapchat, were both of them like encouraging you or asking you to do this? Josh and Amelia, or was it mostly Amelia? Or It was um mostly Amelia. She was, you know, it was mostly her. She was talking to me. You know, they both, like it was on speakerphone. They both are there. But I mean, it was mostly Amelia talking to me. And she's trying to get get you to send somebody over there to scare them. Yeah. Okay. Can you just reach down that radio right there and just turn the knob so it turns off? <laughs> that one right there, just turn it. You, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did they... Okay. Did she... Okay. So you don't know where the people that were killed. Do you know their names? I know. Okay. You never, never tried to find out who they were, who this woman was that he, that she wanted you to. Scare. No, it's none of my interest, bro. And I just really on, wanted the money. And she thought on Monday, uh, she thought on Monday that she was in trouble. Yeah. So, what's that date of Monday? Monday was the sixteenth. Okay, so. All week. You don't think you were working either it's one of those week. days? Yeah, work, but that's during the day and stuff. You know, at nighttime, all night, until the next morning. What time would you have had to have been to work on Wednesday? Um, probably like six, seven. Started because Wednesday is um is when they have delivery. Let's say like around seven or eight at action hour, come out four or five. Seven or eight? Mm hmm Okay. I'm trying to think, was that the day off that I had? Or was that Thursday? Oh, I can get back to you on that. I can't remember. But um I know for for, for sure I was at home. I ain't go nowhere that I wasn't supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, if you can get that for us, um, you know. Um, I was home. I know that for sure. It's it's not that big of a deal. I know that was nowhere else. Well, let me ask you this question: Does anybody else use your phone? No. No, just you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, we're home, being at grandma's house. Yeah. So you hang out over here with friends, like mm -hmm. as grandma's home. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, I'd sleep over my boys' house okay. or my you, girlfriend's. Okay. House. So this is where you guys start thinking really hard. Okay. Yeah. That night, that Tuesday and Wednesday, did you sleep over somebody's house over here, or did you go to grandma's? House? I wasn't at grandma's. I know that. You night. slept I over was, somebody I was over here. House. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not like at grandma's house now. It's not like I'm religiously there every night now. That's you know? fine. No, yeah, yeah, grown um, man. Yeah. yeah. So. So where, um, what friend do you think do you remember being? I, at? I'll be at um, I'll be here in Metro West. You don't want to tell us where you were. It's all right. It's it's all right. I know it's yeah. not. It's nowhere. Nowhere is. Okay. I wasn't supposed okay. to. Be. So where's your phone going to show you from Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning? In this area right here. What okay. kind of phone does he have? It's an Ask iPhone. Uh, iPhone ten? Is it? Eight plus. Eight plus. 
Yeah, see, we got the guy already. This, this, I, well, I'm hoping he, he may do it, like, right now. Mm -hmm. So we could, like... I might ooh. even be able to get it back to you tonight. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah. So oh, yeah. 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 So she, she knows the quicker I can get it back you. to you is the quicker I will get it back cool, to you. Cool, because yeah. if I can get it back tonight so I can work tomorrow... So I don't got to call off about it. Yeah. yeah, we're working on that right now. I appreciate now. that, yeah, man. man. Absolutely, absolutely. Cool. All right. So the phone's on. You're kind of using it throughout the night, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it should show you around here. Okay. What kind of car do you drive? Um, Infinity G37 X Coupe. Okay. Registered to you? Yeah. Okay. So. No, I don't know with you being on probation or not or whatever. But do you own a firearm? I do not. Have you ever? Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is it at? I um surrendered. You surrendered? I sold it. Sold it. Sold it? Yeah. Before I surrendered. Um, I just don't. I'm because of probation. I'm no possession of any weapon. But I do know on a paper trail. Yes, I do have. Uh, I bought a AR. Okay. That's the only thing you had. Yeah. What? But you sold it. Yeah. Did you talk to anybody else? Or who have you spoken to about what Josh and Amelia were asking you to do? Nope. No one. Did uh, did Josh try to give you a gun or try to give did either one of them try to give you something like hey? Oh no. no. All right. So you basically you, but Jay, the bottom line is they asked you to do this. You agreed, but you made no. You, you didn't try to recruit anybody. You didn't yourself. No. No. Do any research or try to find out who these people were or try to find somebody. No. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have anything else? Uh, no. In fact, I'm, I'm waiting for Ed to get back to me. Um, What's up? The only thing what that you stuck think about? out. Um, what? What? No, I, just um, I remember in the conversation, um, mm -hmm. she was just telling me, she was like, it would, it would be easy for whoever you um, call because they live in the hood that's all I know about so that's why I said it's nowhere. a little bit more that tell me about more no about that's that all they said they said because remember they didn't give me the addresses yet. so said, there's like she's like it's gonna be easy for them you know they live in the hood because she's thinking I'm thinking they live like in winter garden since they have money and she stole from them mm -hmm. you know so that's all she said so that's why I was saying I know I was I wasn't in no hood I was here <laughs> sure that's why okay. I was all right if you don't have anything else tech commercial no okay um Jay I always throw this out there. Is there anything that else, like that little thought that just mm -hmm. popped in your head, is there anything else that you could think of to do with what we were talking about that I haven't asked you that might be important? No, sir. And no surprises on the phone, right? No surprises on the phone for some homicide detective. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. That sounds good. Uh, the time is now approximately 1850 hours. That concludes this interview. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Exclusives, exclusives, exclusives. This is what you can come to expect right here at Crime Circus. Some people have doubted me along the way, and that's okay. I have a lot of exclusive videos that no other channel has, and I don't like to beat a dead horse, and I don't like to re-release other things that other channels already have. So I work long days and sleepless nights to present this to you free of charge. If you've joined my Patreon, or YouTube membership, or donated during chat, or hit me up inside of the Cash App at Crime Circus, I appreciate that greatly. Helps out a lot behind the scenes. And I have a very special video that you're not going to want to miss. But I can't really reveal too many spoilers on it just yet. But make sure you stay subscribed, and it's coming soon. It's going to be a very busy year for me here at Crime Circus. But I don't mind. My work ethic is unmatched. I'm going to work all year, 24 hours a day if I could. What matters is these videos entering your screens. Your eyeballs need to connect with these videos on your screens, on your little electronic devices. Make sure you hit the like button, and then type something nice down in the comment section, and I'll find you down there. Well, until next time, stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.